Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back using the Ancient Monkey mod. So yeah, it actually got a pretty interesting rework. And I'm pretty excited to show it off. So yeah, as you can see here, things are a little bit different. So a stronger weapon, new weapon, new ability. And now we have an extra panel here. So you have... Uh, extra new weapon slot, extra stronger weapon slot, uh, extra new ability slot, and extra luck. <coughs> this got, um, obviously a pretty big, pretty sizable money, um, nerf. But hey, that's fine. Let's go for a new weapon. Let's go with, um, let's go with thorns, just to have that, and then... I'm not sure what the strategy is yet, but let's go for some extra luck. Why not? Let's let's try to go for a bunch of luck and kind of see how that goes. Because because I'm assuming obviously that's going to increase your chance of getting you know stronger and better weapons of uh, like you know higher rarity weapons. So I'm hoping. You know, we could get something good because of it. So yeah, I just need $526. After I get that, then I can get another bit of luck. And I assume that also applies to like abilities and stronger weapon upgrades as well. So, although, well, abilities doesn't really, they don't really have a rarity. So it would just be like stronger weapon upgrades and uh, new weapon upgrades. So yeah, we're, I'm going to try to see how long I can, you know, survive with just thorns. And then, um, but yeah, I think right now I'm going to just get another stronger, or another weapon. Because it's kind of struggling against these, uh, against the greens. Oban's going to be really good. Although he can't pop camos, he can pop leads. So there's our lead poppage covered. Um... Jeez, a hundred thousand, and then this is a hundred and sixty thousand. That's crazy. But I assume that stacks on top of this, which would be pretty good. Because if that stacks on top of that, then like, then you're just gonna have like you you could get an ability. You could choose between like three abilities, which is gonna be crazy. And what doesn't that also mean? And then that would also be five new weapons and five stronger weapons oh my gosh that is gonna look crazy okay well I'm, I'm i'm expecting this to be extremely like overpowered that's kind of what i'm that's the idea that i'm kind of getting from this is that it's gonna be extremely powerful let's go with um the mortar because obviously it's got global range so that's just it's pretty it's just good um i'm not really noticing that luck right now <laughs> not getting not really getting anything good <laughs> but hopefully we'll get something good here soon um let me actually get uh, some more luck i mean there are a lot of you know luck stuff there to gr to get so i mean it could just be that i don't have enough luck to really for it to be like a real noticeable difference but i'm gonna get a new weapon and ooh, greater production yeah get a banana farmer down definitely gonna need some camos eventually uh, camo detection eventually but for the time being i think we can kind of just hold off oh purples purples are a little bit of a struggle we got the mortar though, so that's it. At least able to deal with you know global, which is actually really nice. I wish um, I wish the mortar was actually like this, where it would just automatically target. But that's actually super nice that it just automatically targets because of because of this. Now the only problem is that it all, it does lead it sh or it doesn't lead its shots, so it misses a lot, but. You know, it at least does hit sometimes, especially the slower moving balloon. So I feel like that would be a pretty big upside. 
like if you if it had like independent targeting kind of like how the uh, um the dartling gunner how it has its uh independent targeting on the uh on one of its paths on like the bottom path i think that would be pretty pretty nice to have something like that with a uh, with the mortar i think that would honestly probably make it like 10 times better okay we're not we're not losing too many lives but camos are definitely not great for us Normally, the strategy would be to just save up for an ability, but abilities no longer cost $2,000. They cost freaking too much. <laughs> That's how much they cost. They cost too much. Oh my gosh. Um, see, I don't... Well, okay, Azili is actually able to kind of deal with camos. Kind of. Not really, actually. Azili's really struggling. That wasn't a bad... There we go. We got double shot. Double shot would be able to help deal with camos. Um... Can I deal with Moabs? Probably, right? Like, I could probably deal with a Moab. Faster engineering or Adora? Let's get Adora. What are these like percent? Like, what is that? That is okay. Let's go with that. I think that's gonna be better. Let's go with that. Oh wow! We actually destroyed that. Jeez. But yeah, I'm telling you, the extra damage and everything really does make a difference. Like, it is crazy. I mean, because when you, obviously, when you have things that attack fast but do, like, low damage, then, you know, pl just plus one damage is obviously going to have a huge effect. So, I mean, we've literally, like, tripled our damage just, just from three, or just from two stronger weapon upgrades. And round cash... Is that really all that good? I I don't know if it is. How much money does he even make? Isn't it only like 250? Eight hundred, oh. I mean eight hundred per round, I guess that's not terrible. Uh, teleportation. Okay, teleportation is not bad, but I mean, obviously I'd rather something better, but I guess that's not too bad. If something is getting, you know, close to the end, then I can obviously, like, teleport put them down there. Okay. I'm curious how this, how, how good this is going to end up being. I'm looking forward to uh, maxing all of these out because I, I, I hope you guys know by the end of the video I am 100% maxing this all of these things out. And uh, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Uh, definitely gonna I'm gonna be doing more of this stuff because I mean I don't I the rework the rework is I love the extra panel here. I, I really wish they didn't debuff the ability cost into oblivion, but it's fine. I know it was really strong to begin with, so I'm not I'm not like super surprised that they debuffed it that much. Debuffed? What do I mean? De nerfed it. Nerfed. I mean, I guess debuffed it. But yeah, I'm not surprised that they nerfed it that much, but... It definitely... Definitely was warranted, is basically what I'm trying to say. It was 100% warranted. Okay, let me just get a tech bot. 
real quick. We can put that guy down. But, um... Yeah. Ooh, you know what? Camos, actually. Camos are looking a little... A little hasty. Honestly, just dealing with balloons in general is kind of becoming a little bit of a... A little scary. A little bit of a worry. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad. Perma UCAV. Yeah, there we go. Now we have camo detection permanently. Don't even need to worry about camos anymore. I don't even I don't even think we had a way of popping camo. I, I know we did with Azili. That's right. I was gonna say before that point I didn't think we had a way of popping camos, but we we did, we did. Or uh, camo leads. I mean. Oh we did because of Azili. Jeez, yeah, that perma UCAV is actually so good. It really is doing wonders for us in, in many different ways. Another perma UCAV? Oh my gosh. That's gonna do crazy damage now. Okay, let's um let's just get some extra luck because I'm gonna try to go for some new weapons. So I'm gonna need some uh, need some more luck with with these upgrades. It's so weird to see them like have to trail that much, but it's just because that they're trying they're getting to like zebras and stuff, and they can't pop the zebras, <laughs> which is so hilarious. They can pop like BFBs, OMGs. Literally everything other than, you know, like, obviously, black balloons and zebras. Okay, we we have, like, half. Half the extra luck. So, yeah, see, now we're in a good spot, I would say. Let's go with air burst. I think air burst is probably better. Ooh, the biggest one. Nice. See, we don't even have the the advanced ancient monkey upgrade, and we're actually getting some pretty good stuff. So yeah, I love that extra luck panel. I think that's or the extra panel. I should say. Favorite trades? That's actually gonna be pretty good. Cripple Moab. Wow. Imagine that with, like, super fast attack speed. Yeah, that's going to be crazy good. Um, yeah, we'll go Sharpshooter, just because Dartling Gunner isn't my favorite to deal with, because it's not the easiest to be able to, like, maintain. I wonder, well, at the same time, I'm not sure if you changed it to be able to, to have it so that um, the Dartling Gunner auto attack or like auto targets kind of like how the uh the mortar auto, auto targets but i'm not sure if they if the developer changed it to be like that or, or if, if, if it's currently changed to that because otherwise i would have to target it myself and i, I don't really want to have to do that <laughs> let's just go for another adora Another favorite trait. Nice. You made us $64,000. Wow. How much does it... If I sell it, it's like 80k? 88k? Wow. Mob Domination? Jeez. Definitely gonna have to go for some stronger weapon upgrades eventually, but I'm I want to go for more like money making stuff before I do that. Because obviously I do have a couple of banana farm upgrades, but...
Yeah, let's go faster engine. The sentries are actually going to be pretty good. Because I think they, they, um, do, I mean, they can pop camos because of the promo you cap, which is going to be really good. But I do think they benefit from Legend of the Knights. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my, I didn't even see, like, the zone G. Dang. Let's just keep going. Let's see how far we can get. Yeah, I mean, so far things aren't, like, super crazy. Sky Shredder. Well, so much for things not being super crazy. I mean, we got Sky Shredder. He's, he's pretty sick. Dragon's Breath is always a good one, too. Yeah, I mean, I would love a little bit more money-making. Um... more do I even want to go for extra luck I don't know I think I, like I feel like I do want to go for the extra luck but at the same time it's like I need I need money I need money hmm. but it, it, it will make it so that here let me just go with faster okay a little too fast. A little too fast. Okay. Now we can... Let's just go five times. Just so it's not impossible to figure out what's going on. <laughs> so you guys can actually kind of see what's happening. Okay, we got a good amount of luck now. We're only missing... We're only... We're down to the last seven. It's going to be really expensive, so I'm not even going to try to afford all of that stuff. Sentry expert. Let's go Ring of Fire. I think Ring of Fire is probably going to be better. Another Legend of the Night? Or Archmage? Let's go Archmage. The Perma UCAP is actually so good. Because it's basically like... An MIB, but actually, it's better than an MIB. <laughs> Inferno Ring? Oh my gosh. So we have Ring of Fire and Inferno Ring. Uh, let's go for, uh, let's go for Submarine. Arcane Spike's probably better, but I already have a Archmage. Got Sentry Expert now. I'm really not getting a lot of money making stuff. I'm a little disappointed. Where's all the money making upgrades? Come on. Uh, Arcane Spike. I mean, we're getting a lot of, like, you know, actual weapons. That... Oh, oops. Knocked over my cup. Any water spill out? Nope. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, we go. Could have gotten all my electrical stuff. <laughs> but, we're good. Okay. But yeah, again, a lot of, like, you know, damage dealing stuff, but not a lot of money making stuff, which kind of sucks. But, it's fun. Flying Fortress, that, that's gonna be good. Another Legend of the Night. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is already really strong, so... Going for some stronger weapon upgrades, that would that would definitely be pretty interesting. Perma brew. I 
think Purple Broom might do something for him, but I'm not sure. I actually don't know if Perma Brew. Oh my gosh, another Perma you have. We got three of them now. Yeah, I'm not sure if Perma Brew actually affects the Ancient Monkey or not. Let me see. Let me see. If I. No, it doesn't. The only effects. Like actual. Um. Um. Only affects uh, other monkeys around them. It kind of sucks, but it's fine. Oh, another elite sniper, nice. Now we got two of them. Spikes. That's pretty good. Yeah, definitely would love a bit more money making. <laughs> but it's alright. It's not the end of the world if I don't get some good money making. Jeez, this is this is actually pretty crazy. Uh, another ring of fire, can you imagine? I think recur recursive cluster is probably better, but... Oh, jeez. Getting a little laggy. Not too bad, I mean... It mainly is because of the faster forward mod that I have going, but... That's the main reason why it's so laggy. And all the abilities as well, like if I if I just manually did the elite sniper stuff then it wouldn't be as bad because the other abilities wouldn't be going off. Uh let's go blade more. Again, I would love some money making, but I'm just not not really getting any money making. I have like the uh, like the initial um, banana farm upgrades, like the greater production, I think it's called. But not, I don't have anything else. Kind of sucks. Should I go for? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save up for a new weapon slot. Gonna save up that 80k. Cause then I'll at least have a little bit better of a chance of getting, you know, what I want. But maybe I should get rid of that menu if I can actually see how it does. Uh, not bad. It is, oh, and especially with the Carpet of the Spikes ability, it does pretty good. Oh my gosh, the Legend of the Night. Yeah, just seeing that. That was ridiculous. Um. The, yeah, the percentages and stuff are really strange. I feel like another one. And one more. One more doesn't hurt. Which one's better? I mean, that would be... Let's go for more money, too. Okay, another weapon slot. Come on, almost can afford it. Yeah, I think we should be pretty much good on damage as long as I'm kind of keeping up. Nice. 
Now we just need 30k and I can show it off. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit, but it's alright. I don't I don't imagine um Ben's end of round cash is affected by stronger weapon. No, because that because it only affects the weapons, it doesn't affect the ability. Hey, hey, it's fine. Hopefully we can get something good. Hopefully, you know, like, uh, some more money. Something like that. I think that would be pretty, pretty nice. More farm upgrades. Please. Please, game. Ah, uh, Perma Brew again. That doesn't do anything. Uh, let's go for Operation Arts. Jeez, all of the air targeting that I have. Like, all of the planes just flying around. Holy crap. And all I need to do is increase their damage just by a couple of points. And they would just be dealing tons and tons of damage. I mean, the DDTs get demolished. I wonder if I should increase my luck more. It is really expensive, though. That's kind of why I'm not wanting to go for that. Like, the banana plantation, in my opinion, is better. I mean, I'm already getting, um, what was it, God, what is it, no, Exotic. Is it Exotic or Godly? I think it's Exotic. I was already getting Exotic upgrades, um, so, I mean, I can definitely get really good stuff with new weapons. So it's not like it's impossible for me to get another Banana Farm upgrade that's, like, really good and does you know, produces a ton of money. It's just a matter of me having enough luck to actually get it. That's the only problem. Yeah, this provides like a whole new dy uh, dynamic in the, in the mod though. Another Legend of the Night, oh my gosh. Three legend, uh, legends of the night. Yeah, I definitely need more damage. I don't think I have enough damage right now. Fierce never really ever need more fierce. Um, anything that gives fierce. Not really that necessary. I'm gonna go with that. More range would be kind of nice though. I mean, probably not really necessary, but could be, could be nice to have. Okay, I might need to slow it down a little bit. Oh wait, it's already at only five times. Let's just go down to three times speed. Oh gosh. Yeah, let me close out of stuff, I guess. Gotta resort to closing out of things on my computer, so not as laggy. I think that might be a little better, maybe? Uh oh. Oh gosh. My computer's lagging. They also do my recording software doesn't say it's recording. Um uh, well it does. 
but it doesn't have the icon for it. That's really weird. Okay. Let's hope that things are not too broken. I'm gonna slow things down a little bit while I try to <laughs> fix things with my computer. Oh gosh. Okay. I think we should probably be okay. I think. Oh my gosh, things are getting really far. That's why I slowed it down, though. Um, go with a little extra, like 45,000, my gosh. Okay. Let's just go for stronger weapon stuff. You know what? Let's just do that. BADs. Yeah, the BADs are getting very far. Much further than I would like them to. Oh, I might be dead. I think I'm dead here. Because that BAD is getting extremely far. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I'm probably dead here. I, I don't think I'm gonna be surviving much more. Maybe, I mean, maybe I will. There's a chance that this PAD does not kill me. Very low chance, but okay. Okay. Does ZOMGs ZOM are getting pushed back? Okay, we survived. Oh my gosh. We're not surviving by much, I must say that. Not surviving by much, but we are... We're surviving though, that's all that matters, is we're surviving. There's only two EAD. So I think I should be okay. Even then, just two of them is still making it really far. The thing is, the strength of group balloons, so like lots of like Z ZMGs or DDTs or anything like that, that's not what I'm losing to. And that's not the problem. The problem is obviously the big balloons, like the BADs. As they get stronger, it's gonna be a lot harder to actually kill them. I feel like I need to, I need to obviously save up that 125K, but I don't think I can. I don't think I have the time to try to save up for Try to save up 125k for the upgrade, for the advanced ancient. I, I don't, I don't think I can do that. This, look how far this BAD is getting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if this gets too much further, I am dead. Dang. Made it to around 175. I'm just gonna end it there, but I'll, I'll definitely have to come back to this and give it another try. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, 
of uh, me using the ancient monkey mod. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Being the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.